this is the achacha. I'm here with Myra from Rubio's Farms, La Esperanza. Say hello, Myra. Hi, everyone. Tell me this, what does Rubio's Farms, La Esperanza mean? Uh, so Esperanza means hope. And when we started our business, we were very faithful. Like we, you know, we're very religious. So we said, why not put the name hope in our business and you know, God will take care of the rest. Okay, and where is your fruit, uh, where is your fruit stand located? We are located in Homestead, Florida on 292 Street and 177th Avenue right off of Chrome. Myra, you may not know this, but Rubio's is responsible for a lot of my first time fruit experiences. My first sapodilla I got from your brother. My first Russell avocado I got from your brother, and my favorite, the Haitian mango. And we haven't been able to get it for the last couple of years because of the political situation. That's right. Unfortunately, this year we were unable to, anyone was unable to get it. Unable to get it. And that's one of the, the risks being in the fruit business. When you're import, when you're depending on imports, right. things could go wrong. There could be a fruit fly. There, there could be, in the case of Haiti, like just political problems political turmoil and they're unable to export right and so one thing we try to do in south florida is grow as much as we can here grow as much as we can ourselves the less we need to rely on bringing in fruit from other places right. the more likely we are to have that fruit when our customers want it right. and a great example of one such story and another first for me <laughs> is the fruit you guys just started growing, and it's right here on this tree behind us, mm -hmm. and it is called... Achachiru. Myra, come on back here and show me some of these oh, fruits. So this is an achacha or an achacharu oh, yeah. tree, and these are the fruit. Look at how beautiful. They look like little brown chicken eggs, and uh, luckily they don't taste like that. They beautiful. taste delicious. They and like little clusters. You know? Yeah, like, like uh, little bunches of grapes. Uh, hanging down, yeah, let's, that's... Let's get this one. Okay, let's get one and, and pick it and eat it. So, you know it's ripe when it's this nice, golden, like, orange, yellow color. So this is the achacha. And you've been telling me about this for like two or three years. Yeah. Because y'all planted these trees, what, about a decade ago? Maybe Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. And for yeah. the past three years or so, Myra's been teasing me, saying, hey, we have a new <laughs> fruit coming, you know? Yeah. And it's funny because you never think of a new fruit you, you just when we eat fruit you kind of think it's been around forever but the fact is we're coming up with new varieties of fruits all the time new mangoes new avocados mm -hmm. but this is a net new fruit at least to america right right so where does it come from before we crack it so open this is originally from the amazons of bolivia um the only other mass producer that i know has this fruit is australia and it's just every year that goes by more and more people are finding out about it we found out about the fruit we were amazed by the flavor and said you know what crazy idea let's go plant some machacha it's and, and it, it, yeah, it's delicious and then my friend's wife is bolivian and i could i she said she told me something that what the word means do you happen to know what the they say it means honey kiss honey uh, kiss not sure where it originates in, from. in like an amazon language R yeah i, I well, believe so yes. yeah okay well that makes a lot of sense because it is a very sweet it is a very sweet, yeah. tasty fruit. It's a nice mix between like tangy and sweet. It really is, yeah. More sweet than tangy, I would say. Um, some people describe it as eating sorbet when you put yeah. it in the refrigerator. Yeah. So, and the texture is very smooth. All yeah. right. Well, let's crack one open and eat it. Do, so you, do, you, do you crack nope. it or do you need a knife? So you just got to... Oh, you just peel it. Pinch. Pop. I've been doing it wrong. And there it goes. Okay. When Myra told me they were first selling these, I, I missed the grand opening. That's yeah, I'm right. a football coach and we had an event that weekend. But my wife and I came back a couple days later and we bought ourselves a packet, ate them all on the way home, and she was back the next morning buying another one. I remember that. That's how good they are. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let Tom here get the first try. Oh, okay. Now, uh, I've, I've eaten these, so I know there's at least one seed in there, there's maybe more. one big seed, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of bite into it. Yeah, you want to make sure not to uh, bite the skin. Okay. It gives you, you know, it doesn't get tart, but just Okay, so it. just like this, right around mm -hmm. the seed. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. I got to get one for myself. Mm. Yes. <laughs> mm. Okay. First of all, Myra, I've been opening them wrong. Okay, you want to try o opening this? Open, yes, I do. Opening it this way gives you, like, the meat's a lot right. better, and you just kind of suck it from right around. You, you don't even mm -hmm. have to chew it. It is, it's very much like a sorbet, and... 
So the next step is you can either grab the seed with your teeth mm -hmm. or just continue to pop open. Okay, let me try. Let me see. Okay. And I get some off the bottom. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, I get like a citrus. Mm -hmm. I get a sweetness. I swear I get just a touch of vanilla. Really? I get a little bit of a vanilla here. You know, I had someone tell me it tastes like apple. It's, it's very high in vitamin C. Um, it's also, some people say it's kind of like a hunger suppressant. So oh, it's really? very low in sugar. So diabetics would be able to, to eat this. Of course, first you've got to consult your doctor. Um, but yeah, it's very low in sugar. And the best part about this fruit is every part is edible except the seed. Oh, so really? So the skin. You could eat the skin. You can't eat it, but you can make a tea out of it. No way. Yeah, like a tonic. Wow. Um, and it's very refreshing. Okay, well, so that's... for people, like I said, maybe they're like on a on a cleanse or something, mm -hmm. or maybe they just don't want to eat as, as you know, mm -hmm. uh, they don't want to eat a lot. They'll make a tonic from the peel. And what's the season? So, the season is it started about two weeks ago, and it's gonna run maybe if we're lucky another month or so. Okay. Um, so I know in Bolivia, I think it's like in October or something. But, okay. But here. We're in August, yeah. Uh, so it should be over about October. Yeah. yeah. And this was a ten-year investment for you guys. Ten-year wait. Ten-year wait. Ten years of tying up land that you could be doing something else with. Right. You could be growing something else, whatever. You could be using that land for other purposes. Uh, ten years of maybe not knowing if it was going to grow well here in right, South Florida. Right. But obviously by this tree, the other trees you've shown me, mm -hmm. it's growing really well. So I say, you know, you guys know me. You know, I sell avocado. I sell mango. I sell Monstera Deliciosa, Mame. Um, I don't, but I don't have a lot of the more rare stuff like Myra and the folks at Rubio's have. And if you want to get some fruit from me, most of you know I sell online at guacfarm.com. G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. But Myra, if they wanted to reach out to you, and we can't make any promises because some of this stuff doesn't have great shelf life. Right. But if you really, really want to try some exotic stuff, now some of it, the, this stuff, the achacharu, does have a good right. shelf life. Right, this actually has a, a pretty decent shelf yeah, life. Yeah, you could ship these, but certain things like, even when I ship lychees, you know, I got to ship them overnight. Yeah, yeah, they don't overnight. last that Sugar, long. apple, chili moya, yeah. all of that has to be overnight. Yeah, but if you wanted to try any of these exotic fruits, or you've been on vacation and tried them and you want to try them again, mm -hmm. where can they reach out to you, Myra? So right now we're working on our social media, um, mm -hmm. but for now you can reach us at the email. So it's Rubios, R-U-B-I-O-S, Farms, F-A-R-M-S, La, L-A, Esperanza, E-S-P-E-R-A-N-Z-A, -E at gmail.com. I know it's a mouthful. <laughs> at gmail yeah, which no problem, because I'm going to put a link to that in the, in the, in the yeah, description of the video, and mm -hmm. they could just click on it and email you. And so, if, if you want to get like some avocados, you can get them from me at guacfarm.com. You want to get some of this more exotic stuff, you can get it from Myra. And I'm hoping that Myra will allow me to at least pick two of these achacha roos so I could bring them home and share one with my wife. Would that be okay? Yeah, yep, that's okay All right. with me. All right. Well, Myra and I are going to go pick two of these fruit. <laughs> While we do that, you go to guacfarm.com or you email Myra. And we'll see you on the next video. See you guys. Bye.